um, what this apparently what this little session is about is just how to get a little bit familiar with the shopping app because uh -huh. it's really simple. They've made it really easy. So I'll just kind of hold mine up to the camera and hope hope you guys can see what what's there. Yes, we can. Okay, okay, great. Yes. So if you see you see these six buttons, this these are all the things that you you shop with. There's uh -huh. uh, any so the whole philosophy I'm sure you know behind uh, my world is shopping is the fuel that makes the whole engine of my world run. So it's very important that we shop. And Matt Ferk is always saying marketers are the best shoppers because they understand how important shopping uh -huh. is. It it fuels everything. So whenever I go to buy anything or order anything or any service or product, I always go to this little search <laughs> up here and i and i just put like yesterday or the other day i was i was trying to find some flowers so i just put it in the search bar i just i just typed in flowers and then mm -hmm. and and then what you want to do is you just scroll over do you want products do you want online partners do you want local partners mm -hmm. e-gift e cards the e-gift cards are for the big chain stores and so i just i just left it on online because i wanted to send the flowers online and so you mm -hmm. can see all the things that came up. All, mm -hmm. What I did is I I always hit cashback deals at the top because you can see all these flower shops. I mean, there's so many thousands of stores on. I mean, I guess, you know, there's 500,000 retail stores. And I just read on their website, there's 100 million products on this app. You can, I mean, you wow. can, buy, it's like an Amazon right in your hand here. So- mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just I just clicked on this one eight hundred flowers and just ordered online. Just it goes right to their website. It's very very easy. Uh -huh. And then all so that was that's you can you can scroll through there. You can click any of these buttons here. There's products. There's local partners. And this is the really fun one where you click local partners. And you can uh -huh. also click local. That means all your all your mom and pop stores in your area. Right up here at the top. I don't know why I use my finger when I've got this pointer. Right up here at the top, there's a little um, location, little icon, and it says 24 on my app. That means in my area, there are 24 local stores that I can shop at with Scan and Go. And you guys are familiar with Scan and Go, right? Where, where you just scan your receipt and then you get you get your cash back right there. So if you click, if I click on that, it actually shows me a map. Of all the, all the, let me see if I can, all, let's see, yeah, I'll go in. Okay, there is, it's showing, you see all the little location things. It shows me all the air, the, the things in my area, the stores in my area that are scan and go. But if uh -huh. you want to list, if you want to list, you go down here and hit display list. And then it, then it lists them all. And that's kind of easier to scroll through. You can see all the ones in my area. And then would and then you mind you, doing that again, Barb? Because I did what you did and I got 151 hits. So I pushed something wrong. Could you go because I started out with you and I pushed online partners and then okay. I typed in flowers and that's when it changed. So, well, you, flowers because flowers they're taking you all over. Um, oh, I, oh, I know what you're, I know what you did. You, you, you didn't stay in uh, local. Let me show you. If you hit flowers and then see, I've got. 13 hits that are cash back. But if I take off cash back, it has 302 hits, but that's like online. That's all the flower shops in the country. But if, if you hit, if you go to this little thing that says local partners right up here. On the top, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you can scroll across. There's a whole bunch of when, when you're in, when you're in the, when you're in, when you're in the search and then you scroll across and you hit products or online partners uh -huh. Or local or e gift cards or local partners. Local partners will show you all your scan and go places, and so uh, oh, I got one hundred fifty one for local. That's weird. That's very weird. Well, you these they, they, they scan. You know what? These are all scan and go, but they're not really close. That's why the, to see it says scan yeah. and go on there. So. So the thing is, is, is right in our area, we don't have any local flowers. So they just brought up the closest ones. That's why there's 151. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I, I, okay. Just so you know, I got 24 hits when I went back 
and just uh, you know went back to the main screen and then hit local partners it dropped it down to 24 so that's what was throwing me off oh okay all right all right everybody so, thank you so uh so also now there's there's this little menu with the six the six ways you can shop you know there's there's products or online partners or local partners or e-gift cards or tra there's travel and cashback deals. You can hit that all right there. But if you want to just browse, which you can, you can browse through thousands of things through like, like here's the categories. If you just put, you know, you scroll down, there's categories, there's travel and books and games and apparel. You can see all the different, different things you can browse through. But I mean, you could, it's like going on Amazon and browsing. You can just browse through con a lot of things. It's so much easier just to put it, what you want in the search bar and it'll come up for you. So so then, of course, you know, there's another way to do the local things is just hit the little scan and go button right there, which brings up all your local partners. Have you have either of you tried the scan and go, how slick it is, any of you guys? Where you just go in, you, Kim has AM. I hope you have soon. No, I haven't yet, but I will. It's so it's so easy. So let me let me just take you through because it's just so so simple. So let's see if we if we like we go to Chef Alfredo's a lot because he's our local res, one of our local restaurants that's a scan and go. So you just go into his uh his listing here, and there's two locations. So you hit the location close to you. And there's a camera that pops up. So you just hold your, you just hold your, or put your, uh, your receipt. Like you can see my hand is my receipt. And then just take a picture of it. And it asks you to check and make sure the numbers are right. And sometimes it'll say, put the receipt number in. You have to, sometimes it'll, you have to type it in. Sometimes it grabs it. Just type the receipt number. And then it says, check, make sure. I have no one time it just grabbed the tip amount. So you should always check it. And if that's, that's the way, it, if that does that, you just change the amount to the exact amount of the check. And then you just hit submit and it comes right up. But here's your cash back, here's your shopping points. So it's very, very slick. Um, do you have any questions so far on anything? No, I think I think you, you are explaining it very. Uh, Audrey or Chang, do you have any questions so far? Mm, not for now. Mm, yeah, I'm all 100% depending on Audrey. Audrey, if you, if you know, because I'm going to come over to your place and learn it from you. I'm a very slow learner. No, it's okay. It's Join okay. the club, Chen. Don't worry. You know, you might be the underdog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me show you. Let me show the other way. The other way that we shop a lot, and that is with gift cards, e-gift cards, because a lot of the big chains like Walmart, Home Depot, you know, all <laughs> the re major restaurants, all the airlines, everything. You you shop with e-gift cards. Mm -hmm. So there's a little e-gift card right there. You just press that, and then you put it. Let's say, let's say, um, I want to go to Home Depot. So I'll hit search. I hope we got, was gonna, it's gonna take it. Yeah, you hit the search button and then I'll just type in Home Depot. So there it is. And you see it came up right there, Home Depot. And it says 1% cash back plus 8% shopping points. So you just press that. And, and then you can, someday I hope they put this into, into other kind of dollars, but it, right now it has, euros well it has us dollars but it's it's got the comma in in america yeah. we use a period so it's a little confusing but it's it's 25 dollars. you can you can go one two three four um the use use usually will have 50 dollars or 100 dollars. right now they've just got 25s but you can buy as many as you want and then you just and then the, the thing about the gift card is it'll say um Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hit one. So it'll say add to cart. I'll go ahead and add it. And then you have to always hit terms and conditions that you agree to it. So at the bottom, it says place binding order, but you, it doesn't work unless you go down and you say, oh, by the way, I have a dollar cashback I can use. I always use this cashback. That's why I don't have a lot here, because every time I buy a gift card, I use the cashback I have there from my last purchase to buy it. So I get a dollar off this gift card if I hit that. And then you always go down and you have to hit, I have read and accept the terms and conditions, that little check right there. I hope you can see that. And then you hit place binding order and it 
and it shows up in your app instantly and you can go just take it to the checkout counter and scan it right there and it and you got your gift card so any questions on that no i think that that's the one i've used a lot you know okay, yeah. airline tickets and all that kind of stuff i've used Oh, and then let me show you where all your gift cards are. So, so this is this is kind of cool. If you if you touch your little picture up at a picture of yourself, it might if you don't have a picture loaded in, it'll just have a little icon of a person. If you touch that, it shows you all the cash back you've ever had in your whole life and all your shopping points and the available cash back. And then it's got an invite your friends. That's really critical because then you can invite people mm -hmm. to be a shopper or and then they can upgrade to a marketer. That that sends them a link or you send them a link from there. But if you want to see all the gift cards, all your list of your own gift cards that you've bought that you can spend, you just touch that picture of yourself and they all they all come up. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Okay. Oh, and then you have to touch my e-gift card. And there they are. All there's all the gift cards that I have bought recently. Um, you can see Texas Roadhouse, Best Buy, Lowe's, uh, Jiffy Lube, Gap, uh, Kohl's, Chili's, Darden Restaurants. You know those are those are. It's fun to go to a restaurant and go hmm, or decide what restaurant we go to. Hmm, let's see what gift cards we have. We can go and just. And a lot of times at the. Uh, at the table, they have a little computerized thing where you just stick in, you just have a scan your little gift card or or punch in the number and it pays right there. You don't even have to talk to the waitress or the waiter about payment. It's really cool. And then if you want to see all the ones that you've already redeemed, um, you hit the ones that you've had that are, that are redeemed, you've got a list of those. But okay, here's something really interesting. So... If if you if you use a gift card and and you don't use it all, you've got some money left on it, then you want you because right here it'll say remaining credit, but it doesn't update automatically. And so you know, they say it really soon it's gonna come to where you put in the exact amount of gift card you want. You don't have to buy it in denominations. Kim, do you have any idea when that's coming? Because Matt talked about that at the at in Georgia. I, I think it's just in programming. Okay. So it'll so pretty soon we're gonna be able to put it in the exact he said, he said in two weeks, then. Wow, that's cool. So you won't have so you won't have a remaining credit. But for now, if you want to keep track of how much is on your gift card, when you get your receipt, it'll say this is how much is left on your gift card. So you just go in there. You probably can't see it, but there's a little teeny pencil. Whoops, I touched something. Okay, let's go back. There's a little teeny pencil right here. You just touch that. And you can edit how much is on there. You can put it in and then hit OK and it and it'll so you're so it'll be more accurate of how much is actually there. It'll say it'll still say 25, but then down here it'll say remaining remaining credit, $12 or whatever you've got. So see if that if that makes sense to you. Yeah. Okay. You see, um, uh gift cards are not popular here. Oh really? Not very. Yeah, you don't, yeah. you don't have big chain. You don't have big chain stores like Home Depot or Walmart or. No, they do have big stores, but but they don't. But they, they don't. Don't. But gift cards are not popular. Not in Malaysia. It's in popular in Singapore, but not in Malaysia. Oh okay. Okay. Well, you should have some scan and go. Well, see, marketers invite the local businesses to join that then you have all the scan and go which are a lot easier to use and a lot more fun to use so that's your job as marketers is to get a whole bunch of your local businesses signed up yep. and then you'll have lots of places to shop so we uh, never go anywhere without going can we get it on my world first we never shop anywhere or go to any restaurant or travel or hotel until we we check i'll have to tell you a little story really quick we went to a tiny little town for my high school reunion last summer and we had to stay in a hotel of course and so i thought okay i'm gonna see if i can find a hotel on my world but it was this tiny little town and i thought there's no way there's gonna be a hotel in this little town out in the boondocks on my world but i went ahead and put it in for that town you know i put the location put the town and sure enough a a, a chain like it was called roadway inn 
it was kind of a small chain, but it came up as it was on my world. It's amazing how many things are on here. It's incredible. And so I went in and I hit cashback deals just to see if it had a cashback deal. And it did. I got $75, 50 euros, $75 back on our, on our three day yeah. day because I went into cash, you know, into my world and looked for a deal. So it's, it's really fun. Anyway, the fun thing is, is just, to, is just to take the app and, and explore. There's so many little ways that it takes you down mm -hmm. little rabbit holes. And that's mm -hmm. how I found that one. If you, um, mm -hmm. the little plus sign at the bottom here, see if you can see that little, a person with a plus, that means add somebody that means like invite somebody. And so there, right. there's a, you could, it says share a link. You could, you could hit that and send it to somebody, but that's just to be a shopper, right, Kim? Yes, it's, right now it is. Yeah. And yeah, then this is the one I sent my uncle. Uh-huh. Yeah, you yeah, can that's the one. Yeah. So you if can, he registered, he's registered as a shopper. Yeah, you can share a QR code like that, or you have them take a picture of it, or if you're if you're sitting right there, instead of instead of sending them a link, if they're right there with you, say, hey, take a picture of this and you'll become a shopper. And that was that was right there. Can you see that but, right but, there? It says, it says uh, QR. Bar, yeah. One second, Bob. Um, Audrey, you want to send the, the Lyconet marketers because if you send the Lyconet marketers, they automatically become shoppers. 